What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Effective here bringing you a class setups video. Hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's get right into the class setups for the Vanguard beta. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, let's get into the class up. So we have two guns that we're going to use today. We're going to be using the STG, and then we're also going to be using the MP40 plus the secondary pistol, the Rat. This thing is amazing. I love this thing to death. First off, let's get into the STG gun. This gun is actually insanely valuable. Um, and it's really good long range, really good short range, really good mid. It shoots insanely quick. This gun is one of the best in the game. So the class setup is only eight attachments out of the 10. I don't really need the full 10 just because the stock doesn't need it. I haven't leveled the gun all the way up yet. Same with the magazine, you don't really need it. First, we have the recoil booster. Then we have the 760 millimeter for the barrel. We have the slate reflector for the optic, really good. This thing's actually insanely, insanely clean. It's a, it's a good looking sight, good looking sight. Next, we have acrobatic for proficiency, surplus for kit. We have fabric grip for the actual rear grip. Then we have subsonic round, so we're not on the enemy radar. Really good, really good. Then we have the M3 ready grip. These are the eight attachments I use just because they're really good for any type of range and it's it just makes the gun work really well next let's get into the mp40 the mp40 is a really good gun like it's one of the best in the game uh, in terms of just actual just raw potential for the gun first we have the f8 stabilizer for the muzzle for the barrel we have the vdd 285 millimeter shrouded this actually changes the iron side of the gun i think it looks a lot cleaner in my opinion and then for the stock, we have the Crossnick 33 millimeter folding. Uh, has a lot of mobility issues. Um, makes the gun just move a, lot, move a lot better. Proficiency, we have brace. Kit, we have surplus again. Rear grip, we have the stippled grip. It's the same from MW. It just makes the gun aim in quicker. And the ammo type is the subsonic. It just makes, uh, makes your bullets and firing on the minimap just invisible. So when you shoot, you're just done up here. And that's it for the mp40 also so those are the two guns that the two main guns that i wanted to show you at least now let's get into the rat pistol now this thing is ridiculous so for the rat pistol we have a i don't know listen guys this rat pistol it doesn't have a fire cap limit so you, it, it shoots as fast as you can actually shoot the gun so if you have a really good trigger finger this gun is really really good Okay, so for the rat pistol, for the muzzle, we have the Quicksilver Silencer. It just makes the gun shoot. Like, I don't know. It, I just really like the way it makes the gun feel. And plus, you're silent on the map. Like, you're a little rat hiding in corners with a pistol. It's fantastic. Next, we have the trigger action, the lightweight trigger. Um, it just makes you shoot even faster than the non-cap that it has, which is dope. We have the subsonic ammo type, just so you're invisible on the minimap. Again, why not? We have the grooved grip for the rear grip. Uh, just adds a lot of adds some mobility some other stuff to it it's actually really good then proficiency we have sleight of hand just so you can uh just reload your clips faster because the faster you shoot this the less ammo that you can have in the clip and having sleight of hand just makes it easier just to get more bullets in the gun just to shoot the next enemy the next enemy next enemy etc etc and guys listen for the perks we have all it's always the same for each for both classes we have ghost then we have tracker then we have double time Ghost, just so you're in, uh, invisible on the minimap for the UAVs and personal UAVs tracker, just to track people's footsteps. Then double time, just to make yourself even that much quicker on the map. Next, we just have the regular frag grenade, the M2, the M2 frag grenade. It's really good. Uh, you throw like a little baby in this game, so it kind of sucks. Then we also have the stun grenade, basic basic utility uh, and tactical. But yeah, guys, that's it for the class setup video for the Vanguard beta. Hopefully this helps you guys out as it will me next beta when the PC comes out, the PC beta, so I can actually play that, get all the classes, the class setups that I need for that. Um, playing on this, playing on this P4, man, uh, about 30 FPS, <laughs> 65 FOB. It kind of sucks, man. It kind of sucks. But, but hopefully when the PC beta comes out, it's going to be a lot better. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. This has been your boy Effective, aka Dallas. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.